What's up, guys? How you doing? So, 190.8, not bad. Um, uh, it's, so, I haven't really been bulking, haven't really been cutting, I've been more just maintaining. Um, which is okay, but, you know, I've been still just... I really, like, want to start trying to put on some mass, but... I've still been just trying to recover um, from the competition and everything. And I, that was in April, beginning of April. What are we in now? We're in May, end of May, almost in June, yeah. Um, so, still kind of just, you know, recovering, trying to get some savings going before I start bulking up again. I, I hate not having any kind of savings. <clears throat> so I'm trying to build my savings back up because I pretty much spent all of it during the competition um, and the prep and everything. So trying to build that up before I go and start bulking again. That way in case anything happens, um, like my clutch fails on my car, which just happened. So that sucks. So I got to get that replaced. So, you know, it's just been one thing after another. Um, <clears throat> But what I'm thinking about trying and doing when I go to bulk is actually do a carb cycle for bulking. I don't know if anybody does that or if that's a thing because I've I know obviously that's what you do when you cut. That's what you cut when you cut for a competition. It's the best way to lose mass or lose fat and still maintain your mass. Um, so I figured why not try it for bulking. So I'm going to try and do that. And I went and looked at a website the other day. Let me try and pull that up. I, I went to a website the other day and, and figured out my macros and everything. Uh, let's see. And ideally, you want uh, an average of 3,500 extra calories a week to gain uh, size. And I'm not, I'm not really trying to get above 10 to 12% body fat. I'm trying to stay right around there so that way when I do go to cut, I don't really have much to lose. Um, but what I ended up figuring out was, went to this website, I basically just Googled like carb cycling bulk, essentially, and uh, you know, found out, it was kind of a cool, I'm gonna have to find the website, I'll probably put it in a link, but it was a, a kind of a cool website. It gave, you know, depending upon which body type you have, you know, mesomorph, ectomorph, endomorph, um, how tolerant you are to certain macros. So, you know, if you're mesomorph, you, I think it, you're not as tolerant to carbs. And then if you're endomorph, you're even less tolerant to carbs. Um, ectomorph obviously are very tolerant to carbs. That's why they're so thin. But I figured out all my macros. So essentially I would be eating, um, on my high carb days, I'd be eating about 400 carbs a day and that would be 3,300 calories. And then on the low days, I would be eating about 195 carbs, which would be 2,500 calories um, with everything else. But after I figured out those numbers, I think they're a little bit low just because if you want an average of 3,500 calories a week extra, I think it only ends up being like 38 or yeah, like no, it only ends up being like 300 calories extra a week, which is like nothing. So I'm going to have to increase that. Um, a little bit and I took my uh, my you know calorie requirements from another website so obviously it, there's some some mix up there between the two um, <clears throat> the, on this website it said my calorie requirements would be like 3500 to like 3900 that's a ton especially when I haven't been bulking in and I probably haven't I don't really have any tolerance to calories. It's not like I need more and more now because I weigh more. Uh, so I put my calories in as like 3,300 to go like low at first. So that's probably the reason why it's so so low. But I'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit. I just wanted to, you know, kind of test it, and I'm gonna start doing that. Hopefully soon, maybe next month. Um, I don't know if anybody else has any experience with that. If you do. Definitely leave a comment because, you know, I'd be interested to see. I've never really heard of anybody doing that. Anytime I've bulked before, it's just like, all right, all out, uh, eat whatever you want, basically. So I'm going to try and do, like, a, if it fits your macros, 
carb cycling thing. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, the other day I actually did a, a uh, I guess you could say it's a new, not, it's not a new PR. I did the best that I've done in a long time on a deadlift. I got 405 for three. I'll throw that clip up uh, for you, but I was pretty pumped about that. I used straps, no belt. Um, my grip strength is just nowhere near strong enough to pick that up. Uh, but I was pretty pumped about that. That was pretty cool. I'm just stand. I you know I love deadlifts. You feel so strong when you get it up. But uh, <clears throat> so that's a work in progress. Um, yeah. So right now I'm just maintaining, like I said, till I get my finances up, and then I'm going to start hitting that carb cycling bulk and stay as lean as I can. All right. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I will catch you later.